You're watching the News Channel 15 Highlight Zone with Glenn Marini. Sports coverage you can count on with the Highlight Zone starts now. Chris Johnson, one of the best in the biz, but could he pull out a win tonight at home against a very good Northside team? Coming in the night, four teams tied atop the SAC, including a couple of the ones we're going to see in our Game of the Week. Jessica Starbird joins us now with your Game of the Week. Jessica. Coming into the night, Snyder standing on top of the SAC standings as the only undefeated team in the conference. But there's a log jam right behind the Panthers. Four teams tied for second place at 3-1 and one in the conference. That includes both the Legends and Spartans. So Northside at Homestead. It's your Highlight Zone Game of the Week. Northside ranked fourth in this week's four race day poll. Homestead not far behind. They're ranked 13th. Jack Ferguson. You see him right there, and he's got to get us going with a Fergalicious three from the quarter. That gets Homestead on the board. On the other end, Devontae Kinney gets working. He drives to the rack for Northside's first two of the night. Homestead, though, with a 6-2 lead. Still in the first, Keon Brooks Jr. gets going, gets the long two. Now tied at 11 points, Homestead's Grant Raber. With a last second shot, that gives Homestead a 13 11 lead at the end of one. Very exciting first quarter in the second. Got ourselves a three off. Brander Donnell gets it from beyond the arc. Legends respond as Brandon Johnson knocks it down for the triple, ties up the game. But just before half, Parker Mangus, a big time three pointer, gives Homestead a 32 29 lead heading into halftime. More of the same in the second. It's Mangus. Once again with a buzzer beater, that puts Homestead up 48-39 at the end of the third. Spartans extend their lead in the fourth. Ferguson driving, gets the bucket and the foul. Homestead up by 11 points. Legends though surging back, that's Kinney. Stays with it and gets the basket. Chris Johnson not liking that. Then Keon Brooks Jr., he had 29 points, but none more important than that one. The sophomore hits it from the free throw line to give Homestead a 59-58 lead. A goaltending call on Northside gives Homestead back the lead. But the Legends taking the lead for good with their big man Jalen Butts with the tip in as the Legends come back from down 11 to win 62-60 over Homestead. It's just a great stepping stone for us, like we said way back in holiday tournament. Um, every day we practice this. Uh, we say put eight minutes on the clock. And, you know, we, we, we put ourselves in a situation in practice to be down. So uh, just to know that practice uh, pays off in the game is a good thing for us. This show that, uh, how, how resilient we are. You know, we was down. They had a lot of momentum, but we just kept fighting, and we just pushed through, and they able to come out with the victory. It's about perseverance and believing in one another. You know, our guys never gave up, realized what was at stake, um, understood that, uh, you know, they're a great team. They're going to execute, but we had to step up our intensity and continue to attack and be aggressive, and I thought we did that. Next up, Northside hosts Concordia Friday night. Homestead is at Northrop the same night. Glenn, back to you. Oh.